Hey everybody, welcome to the Cow Emporium. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experiment to see if I can save my tomatoes that are getting some blossom end rot on them. And this particular variety is not one I'm going to grow again. Uh, perhaps it would do better in the ground. I've grown every single one of these in pots. These are the Early Girl Hybrid Bush Tomato. They're supposed to be ready in 54 days, which works really well for our climate here because we have roughly 100 days frost free and that's it. However, uh, almost every single one of these tomatoes coming off these plants is getting blossom end rot. In this video, it's not about how I'm gonna treat the blossom end rot, but whether I can save the tomatoes or not. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and uh, to see if I can save these tomatoes. Okay, so to be super clear, I am picking green tomatoes that haven't really started blushing yet. Like this one has started blushing, but you can see it's got a giant rot spot on it that may destroy the whole tomato. And these are my Cherokee purples that are starting to blush. But the rest of these are just green tomatoes. So I have had success with green tomatoes ripening before. Uh, before they even blush. I picked them off because we were freezing at night here so hard and I couldn't cover them anymore. So that's what this experiment is about. Can I save these tomatoes that I know are going to get blossom end rot from picking them while they are still green? Will they ripen and not go bad? Okay, so I brought in the box of tomatoes that I picked. It's been five days since I picked them. So here is the, the one that has the rot started on it. And uh, sorry about my hands, guys. I just came in from the garden. And I think that I can use most of this tomato, actually. So I'm going to set that aside. And then there's this gorgeous Cherokee purple coming. And then this other one, and it is certainly ready to use. So let's see what else we got here. Um, one of these guys, oh, it's got some rot on the bottom. It's starting to get ready. They're all starting to get a little bit of that blush on them, just in this area here. And uh, so that's good. So we'll see if uh, they'll ripen, keep ripening. So I'll bring you back in a few days and see if they'll keep ripening and uh, without all just going bad. We'll see if that stops the rot. That one wouldn't suggest that it stops the rot, but we'll see how it goes here. We'll keep keeping an eye on it. It has been two weeks now since I picked these green tomatoes off of those tomato plants. And as you can see, everything is starting to ripen up quite nicely. Uh, the tomatoes that are in here, well, Clearly they weren't the nicest looking tomatoes that I had out there, but I just wanted to do this experiment with them. So I think that I have my answer, you guys. These tomatoes uh, have not developed any further rot since I've brought them in. So I am gonna say that is a definite yes if I pick the tomatoes. Um, it will stop them from developing uh, blossom end rot if I picked them green and brought them in. So I'm pretty happy with that. This was one that had uh, some rot on it to start with. And uh, so that's, um, this is going to be the end of this video. And uh, I'm going to continue to let these ripen. Like I say, they're not the most beautiful of tomatoes. I realized that I could not hold my phone and cut the tomato at the same time. So here is the end of the tomato. And you can see that the rot doesn't go inside any further than that. And then there's this little tomato. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. That guys, that's delicious. I'm so glad that I decided to bring these tomatoes inside and uh, not let them continue to uh, rot out on the plants. 
Okay, so take care, everybody. See you next time.